welcome to another race on this video with your boy the real deal and omg guys we've done it we have finally taken our bubble floor 90 hard i can't believe it a lot of regearing a lot of different team comps but finally we've done it and who have i done it with astrolith of all the people astrolith has helped me take out bubble who knew bombs they have a place in the game so this is a full auto team it probably has like a 30 percent success rate but it does work trust me so let's just get straight into the run i'm gonna skip the waves and just get straight onto bubble and i'll talk to you talk to you why it works so this is the team we've got astrolith vogoth doom priest godseeker and vrask so essentially we've got four healers keeping astrolith alive but also keeping each other alive um and i'll just talk you through what each one of their jobs are so the reason we're using Astrolith is she doesn't need accuracy and you can just bump up her attack. The more attack she has, the more damage her bombs are going to do. And the reason we want to use bombs is because if you put any other debuffs on Bommel, um, he will put a bomb on each of your champions. So basically by using her, we are avoiding that extra damage and it will make it easier for our healers to keep the team alive. Vogoth, basically every time... Oh, Basically, Bommel's doing the same amount of damage. Those bombs are doing damage. And every time Vogoth's getting hit, he is keeping the squad alive by bumping up with heals. So those heals are coming through and he's just keeping everyone's HP up. Then we've got Doom Priest. Uh, she's in a Relentless set. And basically, um, she's cleansing the team and basically keeping everyone hit, uh, alive with her A1 every time she lands a heal. Uh, so every time she hits, some, uh, hits Bommel, she'll drop a heal and keep the team up but with her relentless procs as well she can go three four times and just bump everyone's hp up as well got god seeker who has an a2 that will heal the whole team uh then she's got an a1 which will heal the team member with the lowest hp passive will put a revive on someone when their hp drops and bring them back to life um, and decrease cooldowns as well so that means that uh Astrolith will get her bombs out more often as well, which will just speed up the run. And then also her A3 can revive a champion as well. So she's just pumping out revives and heals. Brilliant champion for this. And then we just got Vrask, who um, basically on his just we will lock out all his abilities and only do A1s. And his A1 will heal the whole team and also increases his turn meter. So that'll keep him going. I forgot to mention also Astrolith. Um, her ability, I think it's her A1, will um, increase, if it's a critical hit, will increase your whole team's turn meter by 15%, which is just awesome. We need that. So we're a pretty fast team. Uh, lots, all of them have got like HP stacked. I will show you that shortly. And yeah, that's pretty much all of it. Uh, and also uh, Vrask, um, really important for him to get counter-attacks as well. So you get that through Masteries. And I think I've, you know, um, you can get those accessories now, which have uh, a chance to proc a counter-attack as well. So all that sort of stuff helps. So I'm going to cut myself from the video now, speed up the run, and then we'll go to the final results.
So, Astrolith, 1.1 million damage with those bombs on Bumble. Insane. Um, healing, 2.7 million healing from Vrask. I didn't realise he carried that hard. Vogoth, 1.8 billion, billion, million. Uh, Godseeker, 1.5 million. Doom Priest, 1.6 million. Insane. So, let's uh, look at the team setup. And then, let's look at their gear. So, first up, we've got Doom Priest. Uh, you need to lock out her A2. Because um, she will put an increased attack buff on your team. And basically, Bumble will take that buff off you and replace it with bombs. Astrolith, just want to prioritize that A2. And let's just have a look at her A1. Attack to one enemy. enemy fills the turn meter of a random champion by 15%. Fills the turn meter of all allies by 15%. If attack is critical. So that's really good. Frask. We just want him to do his A1. Because that fills his turn meter. If it's a critical hit. And it will be. Because we stack him with a crit. Crit rate. And then yeah. Um, Godseeker. We just want to prioritize that A1. And then Vogoth. Just lock out that A2. So let's have a look at their gear. First up. We've got my girl. Astrolith who has helped hard carry this. Um, she's in uh, Cruel Set and Speed. You could have her in Triple Cruel. You could, uh, instead of using Cruel, you could use Offense. Any gear that gives you attack percentage is what you want to be using. Um, so yeah, gloves, chest, boots. Oh, sorry, I've actually got Speed Boots on, but these could be attack percentage, but chest and gloves are both attack percentage. Um, ring, um, necklace, and banner all attack and sub attack um, stats if you can get it so let's have a look at her total stats 40k hp that's quite high i didn't even i didn't even need plan for it to be so high but that's good it helps keep her alive 6k damage you could probably get up to seven quite easily speed 271 so she's pretty fast that's with glyphs as well uh, 55 crit rate that could be 100 because that will help get that a1 term of boost and the rest of her stats don't matter. She does not need any accuracy to land those bombs. Uh, masteries are very special. Um, she doesn't really benefit from any of these ones. So I tried to, you know, you've got to be efficient where you can. So, you know, I stopped, at, um, you know, saved myself 200. You know, that's probably like 100 energy I've saved myself. So you could do crit rate, but I decided to get that extra um, attack. Um, crit damage, I don't think it benefits bombs at all, so not really important, but we just want to work there so we can get a bit of extra speed and uh, decrease cooldowns. Um, we want to, you know, that's probably only really useful at the very beginning of the fight, but you know, we've got four healers in there, so there's a good chance she will have all her HP to get a bit of extra damage. Um, then we've got uh, 40 HP, uh, sorry. If the target is under 40% HP, we're going to increase our damage as well. Um, then increases damage by 6% with targets with max H uh, sorry with a high HP, which is very likely. Uh, just want to increase her damage on A1. And you know, she's going to kill a few champions as well, so that will also increase her damage, and then War Master for extra damage. And then literally, um, I just wanted to give her a bit more HP. Uh, increase her turn meter and then try and get some more bonus attack stats with Laura Steel. She also does benefit, she does get more um, attack the faster she is as well. So that's why I decided to get a speed set just to keep her fast and also try to cycle through her abilities so we can get that bombs back up. So then we've got Godseeker. Um, I won't talk you through these masteries. Just very sort of standard, but this will get us. Uh, this will get the job done. Then we've got uh, double regen and immortal, and then I think it's yeah HP gloves, HP chest, HP boots, HP banner, defense uh, amulet, and HP ring. Total stats: eighty k HP. 2.7k defense and 188 speed and the rest of the stats don't really matter and also i just want to check astrolith 
did I even book her? Uh, I did. So yeah, I didn't really want to put bomb. Uh, so books into A1. I just put books into A2 to reduce that cooldown, and also to reduce the cooldown on the A3. So next up, we've got. Here we got next Vogoth. So these are actually uh, PVP masteries, but they managed to work for this, so that's fine. So basically, you just want to focus on healing and trying to reduce damage. And well, actually, I've got recruit uh, increase resistance here and stuff, but that's more for arena. But that's fine. It it will work for this. So let's have a look at the gear because that's the most important thing on her. Her, him, is a he. <laughs> so uh, gloves. HP, chest HP, boots HP, banner, defense, um, HP necklace, HP ring, total stats 97k HP, uh, 2.9k defense, 203 speed. Speed is a little bit important for this because basically um, your Vagoff's going to be taking a lot of damage and to keep Vagoff alive you need him to be fast enough to get the heals from his immortal set. So you need him to sort of be a little bit fast. And then nothing else really matters. So Vogoth, uh, Vrask, and I feel like we've missed someone. Oh, Doom Priest. All right, we'll go back to Doom Priest after. So Vrask, triple immortal set, uh, crit rate gloves, HP chest and HP boots. Yep. Uh, banner. Is resistance and that's not for bommel that could be a hp banner um it's basically um for my uh eternal dragon uh that's why i've got vrask with that resistance banner then hp necklace and hp ring and i managed to get one with counter attack on it so that will help him uh keep everyone alive when he attacks back with his a1 masteries just want to be taking that counter attack and then very standard is it war masters yeah war master uh, to just do more damage on the boss and total stats 92k hp 200 defense 1.86 speed could actually be a little bit faster um but that's fine and 114 crit rate overkill there but you know i don't know it just happens sometimes yeah so that's all that matters on him really for this for um for bommel those are stats about is the hp the defense and the speed and the crit rate of course so let's go back to Doom Priest. There she is. So, like I said, mine's in a Relentless set. You could probably replace the Relentless set with a double Immortal set. That would be fine. But I do like the uh, Relentless, just that chance to get those extra procs. And just, you know, like my t I've seen it before where the team's like health will drop quite low. And then she'll come in, like hit three or four times and just heal everyone up. It's just insane. So 75k HP, 2.5 um, defense, 227 speed. So she's still pretty fast. You want your crit rate to be as low as possible. So 15 is the lowest you can go. And none of the other stats matter. Uh, oh, so let's have a look at the gear. So HP gloves, HP chest, speed boots. Uh, HP ring. Defense necklace and HP uh, banner. So masteries. I just feel like none of these masteries really benefit her, so I've just like just left it. If I could have done, I well no, she can't, so it's just fine. Um, but yeah, so we've avoided that crit rate and then just taken very standard build in the offense tree, hugging the left side, and then pretty standard defense build as well, going down to counter strike, uh, counter attack. So that is the end of the video, guys. I really hope this has helped someone get through this. I know it is really hard. Um, it's taken me ages to get through this. But please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. And please smash, smash, smash that subscribe. Uh, take care, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.